Hey guys, welcome back to another live video. So as you can tell, it's another card versus, and you can't tell by the title what we're, what we're reversing. So go ahead and slap them down on the mat. We're doing Avalon versus Edgetar. No, fuck that, that Charlie that, that shit. Was, that, that wasn't. <laughs> Phoenix Chain and Breakthrough Skill. All right, so as you guys know, Breakthrough Skill has been with us for a long time now, now and Phoenix Chain as well. But Phoenix Chain, it was hyped, and then it went down, and then Breakthrough Skill scale went up, and we're pretty much going to discuss. You know, oh, what you move it? I had it, and then you moved oh, it. Sorry. Right there, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> sorry! <laughs> and then we're going to be discussing, you know, which one do you prefer to play, which one do you enjoy more, and which one is overall just the better card. So, which one are you going to fight over? You know what? I'll let you choose this one this time. Which one do you want to defend? I'll defend Phoenix Chain. I will defend Breakthrough Skill, then. Alright. So, so, as we both know, we both negate. Yup. That's, that's our job. But I, on their hand, I get to stop attacks. Yes, you do. You know, you know, you don't always open up perfect. Sometimes you can open up shitty, and you know what's better than just negating the effect? You can just hold their monster down, and it won't be able to do shit, but sit there and look stupid. But I'm gonna have to argue that point. What happens when you exceed? Your Phoenix Chain becomes dead, and it sits on the field and needs a slot. Yeah. Hence why Magic Planner is actually not bad. But that's another story. I mean, I'm biased, you know, I play I play a Constellar deck, and I will gladly bounce back that Phoenix Chain and reset. Yeah, see, so you I'm can do that. I can do that. You can do that, but for the rest of us schmucks who have to deal with, you know, oh, you exceeded. Yeah, and it's <laughs> stuck there. And I know yeah. you ain't going to waste no MST on that. It's, it's, no. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I will gladly get rid of it for a freaking draw two if I ever could get my hands on that goddamn card. Magic Anyways. Planet's expensive. It is. 20 bucks? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, um, but breakthrough skill. Breakthrough skill doesn't sit on the field dead. If you MST it, I can still pop it off in the grave. Sadly, on my turn. Yeah. <laughs> breakthrough skill, on the other hand, can do a lot of that cheap hits. You know, it's like you're going to go, oh, that's cute artifact there. You're gonna, oh, you're going to try to pop some? Breakthrough. Oh, you're going to use Yamato's effect? Breakthrough. I can I can feed the shade of Yamato. You can feed the shade of Yamato, but doesn't mean doesn't mean that that's going to eat a slot. This doesn't eat a slot. Yeah. Well, at least I don't have to. That. Well, it, well, at least with Phoenix Chain, at least I don't have to worry about the Yamato coming at me with a damn crane. But you know what? You know what your Phoenix Chain can can't do that my Breakthrough Skill can stop a Rescue Rabbit. Yeah, that is true. I can't stop a Rescue and Rabbit. other crap and, and card card D's. You can't stop those. And Jelly. Can't stop and Jelly either. No, I can't. Breakthrough Skill on the other hand says, ha ha ha, bit slap. Yeah. <laughs> But Breakthrough Skill, on the other hand, can be used on your turn, so you can stop, you know, artifacts that like to go into, like, Pleiades during mm -hmm. your opponent's turn, and on your turn. So, you know, there's supposed to be two cards. Oh, Breakthrough, you know what, though? At least Breakthrough gets multiple uses. It's like a Veiler, but you get an extra Veiler. Yeah. You know, it's like a double Veiler and one. And people play two to three of these. Hence why his price is so stupidly high. Oh, Thank like God for reprints coming up. 13 to 15 dollars for a common please come in that structure deck. That... That lights on structure deck. I bet I. That's wishing for Maxians, the structure deck. That got taken out a week beforehand. Yeah. It sucked. They're gonna take it out and put like a shining angel in. Let's hope to God they don't do that. Again, that's do that in light sworns. Let's just put shining angel in light sworns. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. Yeah, no. Just take it out, put an MST. Yeah, right. That's generally, what they do, they put one MST. Actually, in my opinion, though, for me personally, I run both. You have room to run both. Not everybody has room to run both. Yeah, not everybody has room to run one, but you know what? I'd rather have the Phoenix Chain be like, block, and then I have the Breakthrough Skill to back it up if I have to. Because I know if I have the Phoenix Chain lock some stupid play, i.e. like your Pleiades, and then you just overdo M7. Yeah, okay. Shit, that, that's funny. What, what happened? What, what, what happened to that door? What happened to that door? I played something, and then you Phoenix Chained it. And I Phoenix... I, what, I go into Precipice? Then you feed this chain day, and then I overlaid in damn seven, and you feed the chain that, and I went to cut charger. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I'll yeah, get out. It. Yeah, and then you deprisoned me. But still, you still got two Phoenix chains stuck on the field. So, uh, final judgment, what would you say is the better card? I'd have to give it the breakthrough skill. I give it breakthrough. I honestly, I'm kind of on the half and half. They both have their pros and cons. They both have their pros and cons. They're, they're on not, equal match. It's just I think breakthrough skill has that more surprise, motherfucker. Yeah. You know, because, you know, even if, especially freaking like, you know, Exiton running around, you can go, you know, Exiton effect, Fiendish Chain, then you can activate the effect again to pick off and then MST it. 
and you can't, you know, activate a Phoenix channel, you can't negate the effect of monster's effect. It's hard to negate it. Well, if you break, break through skill, it... Yeah, break through skill on versus, uh... Exodon? Yeah, you screwed. Unless yeah. they do the thing, but, you know, still. Hence why, you know, they both have their pros and cons, but I'm kind of with you. I'd probably give it a breakthrough skill. I'd probably give it a breakthrough skill. But me being biased since Constellars, I'd probably play the Phoenix Chain just so I can go, Phoenix Chain your monster, make a please, bounce back the Phoenix Chain, kill your monster, then reset the Phoenix Chain. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm, you know that Phoenix Chain is still there. That's why I like them both. They're both good. They, They're both they good. both, it just puts that much pressure with Deep Prism back there, along with my save zones, which I might actually take out. I don't know. They did, you know. You know, with uh, another argument for Fiendish Chain is with, you know, everybody going kamikaze hands on your ass. Fiendish Chain can at least hold down a hand and allow you that extra turn to make, like, a, a black uh, ship or a dweller. Yeah, break through skill on the other hand can't do crap about that. No. Nope. It happens in Grave. Yep, so. That's another argument. <laughs> yep. So, it really depends on what deck you're looking at. Sometimes one card is good against some decks and the other one is better against other decks. But, right. Yeah. You know, I will leave it to you guys in the comment section below, but I hope you guys enjoyed this live video. So you got anything else to say, Mr. Ryan? Pie. Pie. Pick them both up. Pick them both up. Don't trade them. Just hold on to them. Don't get rid of them. Don't, don't, no. No. If someone says trades, and they try to point a finger at either one of these two cards, don't. These shouldn't even be in your trade binder. Honest to God, you should... These are utility. They may sometimes die off in one format, but if you get rid of them and then they pick up again, aren't you stupid? Yeah. I, uh, uh, that's another, uh, that's a whole another thing. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the cards just go up and down. Yeah. You know, sometimes the cards just go up and down in price. I had two ultra breakthrough skills and I traded them for a DT level of chain. So, some, so sometimes it's a good trade, but then sometimes it's not a bad trade, depending on how high the level of chain is and how high the uh, breakthrough uh, skills are. I expect that level of chain to go... Is <laughs> it still going up? Uh, yeah. Last I checked, the, once the next format kicks off, and those Shadals and all that stupid crap, and Stella Knights and all that, the level chain is supposed to be expected to hit at least, uh, what, 60, 70 DT is what I've been hearing? Oh, okay. Everybody wants to get, everyone wants to hype it up to. Okay. Secret about 50, 60. I, I probably wouldn't move it. It goes in my U-Bell deck, so... I keep buying because it's nice and shiny, and I picked it up for ten bucks, <laughs> and it's DT. <laughs> I don't oh, care. Oh, we're getting kind of off topic here, but uh, go ahead and tell us what you guys think about the cards in the comment section below. Like I said, if you got room to run both, then fuck, why not? Negating, sure. effect negating is what's gonna win you this damn format. Yup. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys in the next live video. Thanks for watching.